Now, the plight of the Muslim Rohingya community in Myanmar has attracted worldwide attention over the past few years, but both the army and the NLD have not fielded any Rohingya candidates. Well, the president of the Burmese Rohingya community, UK, Tun Kin, joins me now from London for more on that. Thank you so much for joining us. Knowing that your community Thank of you. over a million Rohingya Muslims was excluded from this election, how do you feel hearing the European Union and the U.S. describe the vote as credible and transparent? It is, uh, you know, very, uh, very disappointing, you know, that people of Burma are, you know, celebrating many people, I mean, particularly 1.3 million Rohingya in the first time in history they were excluded. Uh, you know, Rohingya have right to vote and right to be candidate in Burmese parliament uh, in, since 1936. But uh, this will be the first time in history Rohingya will not be in national parliament at all. I think international community, particularly U.S., U.K., they have to look. Way, uh, they have to focus on whether it is going to be the real democracy or genuine democracy in Burma. This is the point here. I think winning this election by National League for Democracy in Burma, uh, I don't think that NLD will have much control. Uh, you know, the other side, uh, you know. 1.3 million Rohingya were excluded from vote, and there will be no Muslim MP in parliament the first time. So I think this is not a step forward, in my opinion, as I okay. can see whether our Rohingya brothers and sisters stayed at home and they couldn't vote. Okay. You know, the international legal experts are saying 1.3 million Rohingyas are facing genocide last two weeks ago. You know, genocide agenda from Al Jazeera and Queen Mary University of London, Yale School, 45 rights have mentioned, you know, there is a strong evidence of genocide. I think this is the time US, UK, EU have to much more focus where, you know, emergency crisis is going on to, uh, against 1.3 million Rohingya people of Burma. Okay. At the same time, they can, uh, you know, they can focus on election, but they should more prioritize, you know, uh, this minority Rohingya group are facing genocide in Burma. Understood. But when you say that you haven't heard much from Aung San Suu Kyi on the issue of minority rights, why do you think that is? Because, uh, you know, since 2012, we were facing, you know, serious violence, uh, you know, perpetrated by, organized by the Burmese government, President Tengsi government and the state government. She has not, you know, spoken at all, you know, instead she dismissed the ethnic cleansing, who is human rights, who I have clearly mentioned, and international legal experts are saying genocide. These are the things going on, you know, uh, international, uh, you know, legal experts have mentioned what serious situation but she, as a Nobel Prize or Peace Prize winner, she did not speak up again. Uh, uh, she did not raise the voice for our people of Burma. Is it possible, you know, though, we that Rohingya she's people just... have supported her uh, Is it since possible 1990 that... uh, after she won a landslide victory in Burma election? Our uh, go, uh, Rohingya parties were allied with her. We supported her. Right, example, but uh, that's why me, I'm going I to ask. Do you think it's possible release. that she was trying to be very politically careful in the lead up to this election before she takes on a more sensitive issue like this. Do you hold out no hope for that then? Yeah, she might be taken as a political issue, but as a moral issue in 21st century, you know, the whole minority people are facing this kind of, you know, yeah, genocide against Rohingya people is going on. She should speak up, you know, as a human being in 21st century, Rohingya should not be treated as that way. You but know. you do, you we think she might speak beings. up now? Once they have won this election, once the NLD has won, has claimed the seats in parliament, do you expect her to stand up for Rohingya rights? She might, but it will be very big challenges as far as what I think, you know, because the, even though she... Uh, she won the election. Uh, I don't think military, uh, she can govern the country very well because the main, you know, key minister, like home minister, 
uh, you know, borderland uh, minister, defense minister will be appointed by uh, military chief commander. So there is many challenges. Uh, I don't, I, I doubt it, you know, she okay. could govern the country, you know, uh, that is very challenge uh, very challenging for her uh, at the same time we worry that we are emergency crisis how long we can wait uh, you know somebody uh, some uh, any government in burma will treat her well but uh, the people are uh, the dying day by day children's you know women's are facing uh, serious uh, serious situation okay. in our own our own country, our native land. So we need international community action immediately okay. to Tunkin, protect understood. the lives of the Rohingya. Unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it there. We'd like to thank you so much for joining us on TRT World.